Hi guys, Suzy Ledayadem, living positively regardless. Doesn't matter the point at which you are in life, but we love positivity all the way. This morning, I'm glad and I'm grateful to God that he has given us another moment that we can sit down, share our life's experiences, and just have a moment of impacting each other with positive vibes and sharing positive energy. Kindly subscribe. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for sharing your story, Nora, yes. and uh, even now uh, emphasizing more why we need the insurance. Kando mm -hmm. insurance, what, 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 what motivated you to want to share your story with other people? Because I hear you talk of how you talked to God uh, that... Uh, god not now, now yes and uh, and i don't know and also I, I i want to wonder when you were talking of you had spent a whole weekend praying and i'm even asking myself a student going for a monday morning exam having fasted the whole <laughs> weekend maybe a story for another day pastors mm -hmm. you'll tell us <laughs> hey, i am uh, not even I, revised yeah because i want to know why <laughs> a student is in Fasting and praying three days in church. Were you in church? No, we mm. had booked somewhere for a camp. Uh, somewhere we had gone for. We had booked a facility. So you are somewhere in seclusion. Yes. Yeah, for for three days and mm. Monday you are having an exam. Maybe one time we want to <laughs> to hear from pastors. We let us idea our student to it too. But that's not the topic for today. What do you think? Uh, what is your motivation to even want to share about your story? Now. Uh, my heart always keeps when I remember who God is mm -hmm. and what things, the many things I've seen God do to me mm -hmm. and the encounters I've had mm -hmm. and I've known this is God. Mm -hmm. One thing I want to encourage someone there, at times I've seen people, even media personalities, give up on God. Mm -hmm. Maybe they have gone through challenges, miscarriage, loss of our loved ones. Mm. Any things just happen until they give up on God. Mm. And uh, to this end, mm. I would like to encourage someone that there is no single moment one can give up on God. Mm -hmm. Now, if you decide to give up to give up on God right now, mm -hmm. how will you breathe? And mm -hmm. is the one who is moderating that air that you are breathing? Mm -hmm. Is there are so many things, so many situations, so many dangers that God takes care of us mm -hmm. without our knowledge? Mm -hmm. How did I know He could position these police guys to work with me through mm -hmm. uh -huh. yeah. Kenyatta mm -hmm. and leave me on safe hands? Yes. How? That how must did have I been good. We don't know each mm. other. Mm. They are going their own missions. Mm. How? How on earth? Mm. Mm? Just look at that scenario. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would have known what the driver would have done with you. Mm. And maybe you'd have lost your life because he would have dumped you along the road and left and nobody has seen what has happened. Yes. Mm. Wow. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. another thing. Our lives are purely in God's hands. Mm -hmm. Most of the breath that we breathe every day. Mm -hmm. You can imagine uh, since the world began, the, 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 the pollution that has been going on in the air, in the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. How? <laughs> I always see it as a mystery. How I breathe the right air into my body. Mm -hmm. Yet the, 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 the atmosphere has been polluted with all sorts of gas. Mm -hmm. But God God, it's a secret. It's mm. a secret that God has mm. and knows that Nora needs to breathe the right, but not and leave the poison the, uh -huh. the poison gas. Yes, yes. That's a secret of God. Uh -huh. So I would like to encourage someone: don't give up on God. Mm. God knows you. Mm. God knew you even before you are conceived by your mom. Mm. And after knowing who is God is. I have a close intimacy with God. Mm -hmm. I think in my upbringing, mm -hmm. I've really been a church girl. Mm -hmm. And I've really participated in so many events about learning the word of God, mm -hmm. prayers, mm -hmm. name it. Uh, I mean, events about the word. Mm -hmm. I've really 
personally I, I think and that's how you build the intimacy with God mm. so that at a some level that closeness with God he understands you deeper mm -hmm. Susan mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the same way a parent when you bring up a child or not not only a parent when you close when you stay close to someone mm -hmm. and they scream outside mm -hmm. you can easily identify that is Susan screaming yeah. so you are attached mm -hmm. you are you are purely attached the same way with God. We mm -hmm. need to get attached to God. Mm -hmm. So that in those dire situations, mm -hmm. you can call on him. Mm -hmm. And he'll be quick to save you. Mm -hmm. he can call on, you can call on God. Mm -hmm. What if you are not close? Mm -hmm. You'll be like, see, we have even seen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you are in the house and so and so in call. And then they say, hey, that is Susan calling. Mm -hmm. You just think, no. Mm. But there's someone who call you who will call you and you'll skip with mm. joy mm. because kind, kind some of you are attached. Mm. Mm. There, there's some in intimacy mm. with that you are attached with that person. Mm. You will want to even even before they knock the door. Mm. Yeah. No, you are happy yeah. because you are connected. connected you are yes. well connected. Yes. Mm. Mm. They will even knock. Yeah, because you are, you are like. Huh? <laughs> She's here again. <laughs> so, who is God? God mm. is a supernatural being. Mm. And there's no way you can avoid God. Mm. So, get connected to God. Wow. Know God in a deeper way. Mm. Know God in a deeper way. Search. Look for God. Mm. Look for the word. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Take a Bible and sit on the table, mm. follow, so that you can be connected to God, so that you can understand God deeper. Mm. For, for me, mm. when I was there, taking my first breath, mm -hmm. hmm, I realized I'm going. I tried the second one. What? I realized here. It is now between me and uh, me and God. I'm going. Mm -hmm. But then the third time, I tell him, God, not now. Mm -hmm. Then my breath comes back. Mm -hmm. I'm at peace inside, mm. <laughs> despite the screams. Mm. I know I'm alive mm. because I've called someone and he has answered. Mm. He's able to identify with He's that voice that has called. Mm -hmm. He was like, that's Nora saying, mm -hmm. not now. But and also another thing, mm -hmm. there's somewhere I, I disconnected with him. Mm -hmm. Before I lighted mm -hmm. in, the, in the Matatu, mm -hmm. I felt so much fear, so much calling me. Mm -hmm. Until I stood and I looked behind in the vehicle, everything was okay. Mm -hmm. And I sat down. I think I should have made a prayer mm -hmm. during that time. Mm -hmm. Because fear, fear is for the devil. Sure. And that feeling that I got, mm -hmm. there was some communication that going on, but I did not connect. Wow. Because I should have made a stood or prayed or asked God to take out fear away from me. Mm -hmm. But then that's where the devil got me, fear. Mm -hmm. When fear gets inside you. Mm -hmm. But it was so immense until I felt cold, mm -hmm. cold inside me, until I stood mm -hmm. and to look behind and see what is happening inside the car, the vehicle. Mm -hmm. But there was nothing. Everyone was seated. Mm -hmm. Everyone was quiet. Mm -hmm. So maybe God wanted me to pray, mm. but yeah. I did not connect. Yeah. So we just need to 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 do to do it to mm. do God's thing, mm. pray, praying all the time. Yeah. Because I I tend to believe if I prayed that that moment, mm. maybe I would have God has, uh, would have taken care of that. Because the only way God wants us, what He communicates to us so that we can pray, yes. so that He can come in for us. Mm. God always wants us to call Him mm. so that He can He can rescue us. Mm. That's why He always says, knock at the door mm. and I'll open the door for you. Mm -hmm. That's why, because He's waiting for you to take, to participate. Mm. Yeah, to take an action. Mm. Until you take an action, He will not. Supposing I did not call on Him, mm -hmm. I would have gone. Yeah. He's here waiting for me to call on him. Mm -hmm. If I went quiet, mm -hmm. I would have died. Yeah. But because I call on him, he heard me. Mm -hmm. What the thing is, God wants us to look for him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because he has already looked for us, mm -hmm. so he wants us to be attached to him. To him. Mm -hmm. Wow. So that he can deliver us, he can rescue us, mm -hmm. he can save us. Even if Susan, I'm coming to your house and someone is knocking, is hitting me at your door. Mm -hmm. If I don't call you, you'll not know that Nora is needs some help. True, true. So you need to call. You need to look for God ah. by all means. Wow. Yeah. Nora, here you are. The vehicle has knocked you. I don't know the driver. 
after from Kenyatta Hospital. Will you connect again? Will you think of uh, being compensated? Or where is our driver now? Okay, now uh, the fact that I was with this uh, Kenyans of Prayer Ministry, mm-hmm. my bosses uh, saw it worth for me to go ahead and uh, and uh, follow up. Yeah, uh, and and and, and, file and, and file a case against oh. my driver. Okay. So our lawyer did that. The lawyer for the company took up the, my case mm-hmm. and we filed that case. Mm-hmm. And from the doctor's advice, they advised that I should not be be quick mm-hmm. to file a case mm-hmm. because this was a major accident. Mm-hmm. So I, they told me to wait for at least two, three years for me to recover. Mm-hmm. So in from 20, 2010, we went all through to April 2013. Mm-hmm. That is when we filed the case at the court. Okay. So we filed the case. Mm-hmm. 2013, 2014, 2015, and fortunately my lawyer dies. Oh. He got an accident. Mm-hmm. After a month, he collapsed in, in his house. He died. Oh, so his, thank you. Mm-hmm. His colleague, his partner, took up the case. Mm-hmm. And uh, ha! Now here is the story. <laughs> mm-hmm. Twenty fifteen just ends like that. Mm-hmm. Twenty sixteen, the file disappears from the court. Oh, mm-hmm. the file disappears yes. from the courts. We tried Three years to... later. Yes, you filed in 23? 2013. 2013, I so mean. So 2016, the file is not there. Oh. Mm-hmm. It is up and down, <laughs> looking and for the code. file, looking for the file, looking for the file. Then after here, I meet I meet someone. Mm-hmm. Then we share the story. Then he told me, no, I can help you get that file. Mm-hmm. I didn't, not that he wanted any pay. Mm-hmm. He went to the court mm-hmm. within a week. He told me, no, your file is here. The file was filed. <laughs> My God, uh-huh. I don't know what was happening. Mm-hmm. My goodness, so uh, <laughs> we need people from <laughs> this. <laughs> hey, we need to understand <laughs> where files disappear to. Are there rats in the corridors of our courts? I don't know whether it is the laxity of the lawyers mm-hmm. who don't want to do the work. Mm-hmm. I don't know. So the file is missing. Oh, that missing. is it. Like in a you, you go to the lawyer. You, you ask them how far are we gone. The lawyer is, the, the file is not nowhere to be found. Mm-hmm. So we stay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, inside me, I just meet someone. Nora, Nora, what is happening to you? Uh, our case, the file is missing, so we can't do anything. Oh, mm-hmm. let me go and look it out for you. Mm-hmm. He goes, he finds the file, it's here. 2017, we started the journey. Badoni mentioned, mentioned, mentioned 2018. We proceed with mentioning, mentioning. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Then, one morning, I meet someone in the bus. Mm-hmm. Then we start sharing about accidents. Him, he has undergone two different accidents mm-hmm. after me. Mm-hmm. Then he is, I've already ended and he has been compensated. Then I'm like, huh? This is a stranger or this <laughs> someone you know? I don't know him. I just met him mm-hmm. in the bus. Mm-hmm. Then you start sharing about mm-hmm. accidents, safety. Wow. Uh-huh. Then he started telling me his stories, mm-hmm. how he has had two different accidents. Mm-hmm. In fact, one he went for a, a, in a coma for an old man. Mm-hmm. Then he, he got healed. He went through the court. His cases ended. He's been compensated. How fast? Mm-hmm. Then I'm like, hmm, tell me this mystery. Mm-hmm. How comes your cases are uh, handled so fast? Mm-hmm. Then the moment I told him my case, mm-hmm. and uh, he happened to know my lawyer. Okay. So from that perspective now, mm-hmm. he went ahead. He talked to his, uh, the lawyer, my lawyer now happened to be his relative. So now he started pursuing him. What is happening to this fire, this guy? I think I agree guy. with you, you are a miracle girl. Yes. How do you meet someone in a public <laughs> vehicle? You decide to share your story and they happen to be a relative to your lawyer. lawyer. Yes. Wow. Uh-huh. Once again, get connected to God. To God, yeah. He will always uh-huh. push you uh-huh. to the right direction, to mm. the right path, mm. to the right person mm. who can help you. Yeah. So, we started a case. Now, it, it started moving in 2019. <laughs> And then by October, the ruling was done. Mm-hmm. And then the following week, 
our opponent file an appeal and then it went it goes now to the next year the year of covid 2020 oh. mm. another story mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> nothing mm. nothing happened mm. it's the cases are uh, the, the, to some extent they mm. started handling cases in august 2020 mm. when covid came mm. there was nothing that was happening in the court mm. so in august they started doing virtual hearing virtual whatever whatever so 2021 comes again Mm -hmm. uh, nothing still virtual virtual mm -hmm. so 2022 mm -hmm. that's when now towards end of the year mm -hmm. that's when now our file was handled by the court okay so early this year mm -hmm. uh, we, we got the, the last mentioning mm -hmm. and so the the ruling was done in july oh ah, okay yes ah. yeah wow mm -hmm. what a journey <gasps> nora i think i yeah, I agree with you. Like I said earlier, you're a miracle girl. <laughs> the way your stories are connecting. And also it's a challenge to me. When I'm in a position to help people, what do I do? Guys, if you're in a position to help someone, regardless whether you know them or you don't know them, what do you do? Please do. You see, these guys, they have seen someone who has suffered an accident. They don't know her, but they decide to follow her. Mm -hmm. They decide they were living there until the family comes. Yes. Nora goes in Kijabi Hospital, meets very friendly and people who are giving her hope and telling her your case mm -hmm. will be resolved mm -hmm. and all that. Mm -hmm. She gets into a matatu and finds someone who is able <laughs> to help her. Yes. Uh, 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 I mean, even the way you're challenging me is uh, kusalimia na watu kwa matatu. Because Don't be me, I'm, me, I'm the kind of a person I enter into a matatu, I mind my business. Not at I'm all. A, I'm on my phone now. I think I'm challenged. Not at all. Mm -hmm. When it you enter into the bus mm -hmm. and you find someone seated, mm -hmm. say hi. Mm -hmm. Just that. Mm -hmm. Just. That. They might just need someone to mm -hmm. talk to, and they might even be the people with your solution. Yes. Wow. Just say hi. Wow. Because along the journey, mm -hmm. something might happen that will force you to talk. Yet you just went there gloomy. You have your own. Just say hi. Mm -hmm. That's that's all. Mm. This person will be at peace with you. Mm. Uh, but don't, don't just be gloomy to people. Be friendly. It yeah. has no cost. Mm -hmm. you yeah. might, you, that might be your next, the, the, the destiny helper that God has set for you. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. mm. wow. But they are just waiting for you to open up. Open up. Mm -hmm. Here you are and you're saying, I'm minding my business. business. And especially when it is <laughs> men. Eh? You know when a man says hi to you, you're like, mm. This man, <laughs> <laughs> but but you see now that your case was uh, God connecting you yes. with your destiny helper. Mm -hmm. Wow, I'm so glad that you decided to share this story. I hope, guys, you have been um, impacted. Uh, I, I look for me. I've taken so many lessons from this that I am supposed to be have to have a very close and intimate relationship with God, mm -hmm. and that every day, that every moment that we live, she left the house when she was whole. In the evening, she's not able to... Mind you, mm -hmm. after the accident, mm -hmm. I was fed, mm -hmm. I was bathed, bathed. I was... Mm -hmm. <laughs> like you a are baby. being clothed. Yes. You can't dress yourself. Someone has to be there for yes. you. Yes. Wow. Even answering a phone, I used to use the, head, the headphones. Mm. Yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. I thank God for you and thank you so much for, 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 for this and uh, we, we appreciate God for your story. You are there, you are, de you are even um, questioning. You're, you're questioning the existence of God because mm -hmm. probably you've gone through stars and you're wondering, Lily, is there God? Does God exist? Mm -hmm. Nora has just talked to you and said that don't doubt the existence of God because she has real touch um, testimonies that mm -hmm. she can say that this beat was God, this was God, this mm -hmm. was God, because if it was not God, yes. who else? So thank you so much. I don't know whether you have any closing remarks that you want to tell our viewers or now we can say goodbye. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now my viewers, I still want to sell insurance to you. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Because uh, Kando Namungu, mm -hmm. even God wants you to, ta to take an action mm -hmm. about your life. He has given us life freely mm. freely given yes but we have to use our own knowledge mm. wisdom and understanding to mm. take care of our lives yes yes and uh, how else can we take care of our lives mm. good planning mm. investing mm. loving our loved ones and you can't love someone empty-handed uh -huh. yes okay. you need to 
plan yourself well mm-hmm. with money mm-hmm. with the savings mm-hmm. with name it mm-hmm. so love your, yourself mm-hmm. love your people mm-hmm. save well mm-hmm. invest well mm-hmm. don't let time go just by mm-hmm. who, who knows about tomorrow mm-hmm. no one mm-hmm. so you are living now mm-hmm. and because you are living now do it now mm-hmm. Take action now, mm. and the rest let it live into God to handle. Wow, I didn't know taking an insurance cover is a show of love. Yes. Because when I take insurance cover for my children, I'm showing them love by the fact that they will be provided for. Mm-hmm. My my people, if like you had done in a, a cover, maybe your brothers and sisters would not have really hassled yeah, to yeah. give to come mm-hmm. and get money for sure. you so insurance cover is also a show of love mm-hmm. guys i think that one i also picked so <laughs> thank you so much for watching this video thank you so much for those people who have been following me following my content reasoning and watching sharing i'm so so grateful kindly subscribe if you're watching this and you have not subscribed please subscribe if you have so uh, if you have already subscribed thank you very much continue sharing my content let someone else hear this message mm-hmm. so that they can also benefit the way you do benefit For now, bye.